What's going on guys, you're Philip Chief Pony, we're back with the Pokemon Glaze Hot Sauce Lock, I guess we're calling it now. I came up with that name and you know what? I like it. It's gonna stick. I like that name. So you know what? The hot sauce lock, it's sticking. I got tremendous support on the first one and I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you guys so much. And now we're going to catch our first Pokemon at this route, which is uh let's see, this is Forest Pass. I started in Glenwood Town, which I got my starter from, Happy Feet. And now, our first Pokemon from Forest Pass is... Run! To be honest, not the best Pokemon in the world. I like him, and I think he's gonna go to work. But, again, not the best. So, I, it's officially started. Something dies, Afterlife Ghost Pepper Sauce. That's gonna be fun. Alright, this is Ron. He will always be Ron. Always. Alright. So now I'm gonna go back, heal up. Yo, I was just thinking, I didn't buy any potions or anything, so I'm gonna go do that. And I believe the Mart was up from here? Maybe? Uh, is this the Mart? Yeah, general store. Candy. I like candy. Alright, how may I serve you? Um, um, I'm just gonna with potions for now. Like three of them. I wish I had more potions. Damn, they got the... Okay, shit. I, got the, I don't have that kind of money, sorry. Um... I don't need so many Pokeballs, do I? Uh, potions are... There we go, yeah. That's good. And now I'm gonna buy two more potions. Hopefully I can catch the next Pokemon with just three Pokeballs. Hopefully it's not gonna be, you know, that much of a, um, of a challenge to catch one Pokemon. If it is, well, I'm gonna feel pretty stupid. Alright. Let's head back up here. Into the Milkshake Swamp. I mean, that was quick. Our first Pokemon Milkshake Quam is an Ekans, also level 3. Uh, I'm not entirely happy about that. Alright. Wrap. Nice. Nice. Yep. Okay. Cool. Anyway, um. I forgot what I was going to say. I just blanked out. I had something completely. Not maybe, maybe not important, but you know, a, a rant that is going to go on, and it's going to go on and on, and it's going to lead into more conversations, but I just, it left me. Alright, Ekans, I'm going to name you, let's name you Jesse, because Jesse in the anime had one, so, I mean, this is a boy, though. Jesse can be a boy's name. Alright, Jesse. So... I don't want what happened in the Fire Red to happen in this. Because if you were watching that, you'll know that I lost right as soon as I got up to the first gym leader. So because I don't want that to happen, for the first gym leader only, what I'm going to do is... I'm not breaking any of the rules, I'm just doing something that I said I wouldn't do. I'm going to look up what... Nah, fuck. Nah, I have the EXP show, what am I doing? I'm gonna look up what Pokemon and what level the first gym leader has, so I can train properly. Cause I have no idea right now what type it is, what level the Pokemon are. No idea. What else can I've gotten here? Or I can. Oh, that's level five, man. That would have been nice. Okay. So yeah, not. It's not really the fact that um that I don't want to take that much hot sauce because well, first of all, obviously I don't, but. That'll be death. But it's not like, no, I really, like, no, um. I can't speak, and I don't know how to word what I want to say. The main reason that I don't want to lose is not because of the hot sauce. It's because I just don't want to lose. I don't want to have to start over again, go through it with the, you know, new catchy Pokemon again. I'm going through all this nonsense again. So, I just don't want to lose. I want to actually... Go deep into a Nuzlocke, hot sauce lock, whatever you want to call it. 
Oh no. <sighs> I really thought I was about to drink some hot sauce. Oh my god. Get out of here. Ah! Oh! Please can't run away, please. please, please. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. Oh, of course it was a critical hit. Please, Jesse, please. Please run away. Please run away. Please run away. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to fight that thing. Oh, man. You see, I almost just lost one of my Pokemon to a wild shroomish. No, heal me, damn it. Alright. Um. If I lose... Well, there's a good chance that in either this episode or the next. Most, more likely the next, but... I'm gonna be drinking some hot sauce very soon, put it that way. When you're exploring the milkshake swamp, make sure not to step in poison ivy. It can seriously hamper your journey. Thank you. Pokeball. Woohoo! Good thing I sold mine. Nice. For the love of bug types. Alright, so your bug types, not really grass types. So I don't have to worry too much. Oh, it's a Caterpie! So these things are level 4. So I actually have to use Happy Feet. I can't use one of my other ones yet. I know he has the experience share, but they just level up obviously a lot faster if they do the battling themselves. And I'd rather not take the time to the EXP share, but it's not like I have a choice. Yay, run through level 4. Yay, defense girl. A Weedle. I don't want to touch this Weedle. I have a bad, 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 bad feeling it's going to poison me. But Jesse is poison type, so you can't poison him. I'm going to leer you 20,000 times. Uh, string shot. Whatever, now I go, now you go first. Okay, that's cool, whatever. And if I'm correct, I believe the poison ivy will poison whoever's uh, up front. So of course I could just have Jesse up front and, you know, not worry about anything. But aside from Weedles, I don't know really what Jesse would be able to find at level 3. So I'd rather not do that and just avoid the poison ivy. I think that'd be a better idea. Alright, now that I got four leaders down, a wrap should do the job. Right, okay. I'm just glad everything see these poison things are doing what wow! After four defense drops, that's all wrap did. That's how weak I am right now. Wow. Using Lear again. His, come on, his defense has to be like one by now. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I got it. There we go. And one more. Wow. He hit me six times for a total of six damage. Of course the critical hit is the one I get at the end. Of course it is. Alright, good, 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 good. Cool, 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 cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give the EXP share to Jesse. She has a love. Alright. I believe I can fight the next trainer without worry. I think that's the Poison Ivy right there, so I'm not going to step in that. I don't want to test it out. Some trainers will rematch you if you talk to them. Battling trainers over and over can help training go by much for Okay. Uh, there's a double battle. I don't feel comfortable doing a double battle, so... Uh, yeah, it's just a, dude, this is two single battles. Bugcatcher Marcus has a Caterpie. This one's level 5, man. These levels are growing like crazy. I don't know if I, I can't keep up. You see that? That did 3 damage. A whole 3 damage. And now he goes first. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to escape this battle with my happy feet. I, I just don't. Alright, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Alright. So, Caterpie's down. Now, I'm going to guess that you now have a Weedle level 5. Bubble! And Jesse level 4. Woohoo! Oh, another Caterpie. Actually, even though it's level 5, it's a Caterpie. I'm going to let uh, Ron take care of this. 
Let's do this. I got this. String shot. You're already faster than me. Why is it? I don't care that it's a higher level than me. One level higher, not, you know, any higher level. I don't understand why Caterpie is faster than me. I mean, I understand that part in the anime where, like, Caterpie got really scared and squirmed away really quickly, but in all honesty, it's a Caterpie. Like, come on. What? I wonder if I should just let Ron go up front. Or maybe Jet? No. You know, I'm gonna do this trainer and see what happens. Come on, let's battle. Okay. What do you got there, youngster James? You got one Pokemon, that's scary. And a Krogunk, level 6. Kinda glad I didn't let anybody else do this. Ron would've been terrible, because obviously Krogunk's fighting type. Although I don't think it... Uh, if that wasn't a critical hit, I would've been scared for my life. And he has rain dish. Whatever, he's dead, bubble gets boosted in the rain. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Yay, Jesse's level 5. I'm really glad I didn't let anybody start, like, besides uh, Happy Feet. So, Jesse's level 5 now. So, we're gonna give the EXP share to Ron. And instead of wasting one of my potions, I'm going to actually go back to the Pokemon Center. And I'll. Ooh, I could have caught Tangle. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. I'll meet you guys right back here in a second. And continuing our adventures in the Milkshake Swamp, after going back to the Pokemon Center, we have another trainer here. And I'm gonna keep Happy Feet up front, at least for now. Alright. Mudcatcher Maxwell uses a Skaroopy. Ooh. Level 7. Again, glad I kept Happy Feet up front. Actually, I'm gonna put Bubble up front. Just because I'm gonna use Bubble way more than Pound. I don't think I'm ever gonna use Pound over Bubble. Ever. Well, that's not true. I'm gonna use bubble over pound when there's no pound over bubble when there's no more bubbles. Anyway, bubble lowered his speed, so I go first. Yay! Couldn't have killed it, really. Don't poison me, please don't poison me, please don't poison me. All right, you're dead. Let's see if Ron will level up. I know Happy won't. Oh, Happy Feet leveled up! Yay! If Happy Feet's gonna level up, then maybe Ron will. Yay! I, that thing was level 7, so I'm still scared to let my level 5s uh, start a battle, so I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna continue. Uh, youngster Alex, aw, oh, they can handle three level 6s, ooh. If that, Pe if that Pichu knows an electric move, I'm in trouble, so I'm actually gonna go out to run here. Ah, oh, charm. Son of a bitch. Maybe I should just date it. I feel like all it has is Charm and Tail Whip. Oof. I didn't buy any Perilous Heals. Yeah, I feel like all it has is Charm and, uh... And, uh... What was the other one? Uh, Leer, Tail Whip, whatever. Good for you. My attack is as low as it can possibly go. Oh, he does have Thundershock. Good thing I switched. I mean, maybe it would've... Maybe Pichu would've probably been dead by now if I was using Bubble. Um, I'm actually gonna heal up, because a critical hit from this range would kill me, and knowing my luck, you know. And I have a couple, um, I have a couple potions to spare, and this isn't, like, one of the most intense portions of the game, where you know, I'm gonna need every single potion I can get now. I, I'm, I'm going through the first forest or, or swamp of this game, so I'll be fine. I don't think a critical hit will kill me from here, but you use Tail Whip, so it doesn't really matter. And there you go. So Ron is level 6, so if he was not paralyzed and had full health, I would I would put him up front, but uh, those two things are the case, so Jess is going to get up front. Unfortunately, why didn't I use Leer? You need to learn Poison Sting, like, now. Like, why don't you have Poison Sting? You're an Ekans. I understand Rap is, like, for snakes, but you're also Ekans, not Snake. You need Poison Sting. Anyway, uh, of course. Anyway, um, the saying was that ah, oh, come on, that I'm fine with that because I can still use items and switch out even though I'm in the encore. 
Uh, critical hit will do like five. So I don't have to do anything yet. Critical hit? Nice. How much you want to bet this attack is not going to kill? Oh, yes, it will. Forget it. The rap hurt him. If it wasn't for the rap's uh, continual damage, that would not have killed him. He has a toga piece, so I'm actually going to stay in. I like the baby Pokemon, though. That's cool. I'm actually going to use another potion, because I don't know. I feel like this toga piece. Aw, oh, bitch! Maybe I shouldn't have even stayed in at all. God damn it. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to happy feet. I feel like, um... That's why I didn't want to keep... I didn't want to bring anybody Aerial Ace. That's not good. If he gets Thunder, which hits 100% of the time in rain, Happy Feet is dead. I mean, the chance of him getting Thunder are like 1 in a thousand or something like that, but it could happen. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, what do we have here? Damn, I wish I had a Paralyze here. Damn it. Um, I'm gonna take the EXP share and give it to Jesse. Like I said, spread the love. And I'm gonna forge on. Uh oh, this looks like some shit. Blake! Ah, Philip! You, you came in just the right time. As I suspected, another grunt snuck back while our backs were turned. Look up there by that tablet. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. Do you want to see a member of the Elite Four in action, Philip? Come with me then. Inventor, it's best you stay here where it's safe. I'm gonna have to fight this guy later, and that's scary as shit. I thought I ran you scum off with your tail between your legs. Foo 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 foo. I snuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. They will welcome me back at headquarters like a hero. I have no time to play games with the Pokemon League now. So long, idiots. You're part of the Elite Four. Why did you just let him go? This tablet. Are you two alright? You scared off that grunt. Good and proper, it seems. Wow. Amazing. Hum. I'm done here for now. It's getting nasty. Thank you, Blake and Philip, for assisting me. Please take this. The Pokecom. What the fuck is that? Is that like the, um... The thing on the bottom screen for uh, Soul Silver or something? That Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech and Whoa! Hopefully it'll help you on your journey. Hold up! Text translated from the Pokecom will be screened with this color text. I'll be going to my home now. I'll be much happier there where I can work in peace. See you around, Philip. Hold up, hold up, pause, rewind. I just got a device that could talk to Pokemon. This just changed the game. The game is forever changed, people. I can talk to Pokemon. I'm gonna tell that Pikachu if ever comes back to fuck off for fucking with my parents. I'm gonna tell Happy Feet that he better not die. I'm gonna tell every trainer's Pokemon to get about. Whoa, that's a game changer. These ruins are amazing. Why are they here? The fuck, some Indiana Jones type shit? You touched the tent? What? What happened? Did I slip through the universe again? Oh, I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one who brought you to your room last time. As I predicted, you managed to slip through again. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll hold off on explaining again. Would you mind helping me? Why would I help you if you're not going to explain to me what's going on? God damn it. I'm looking for a mud kid that's wandered off. It's somewhere around here, but I can't find it anywhere. I'd appreciate it if you could look around for me. If you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best as I can. Well, the way I see it, I completely forgot. Let me hear your Pokemon for you. Ooh! Good looks, homie. The way I see it. This, this, I'm now through the, uh, oh, there it is. I'm through the, uh, dimension, right? So I'm in a different dimension. And even though it looks like the Milkshake Swamp, I'm in a different dimension. Ooh, Max Ether. Um, this is technically a new area. So as long as I don't find anything in those individual patches of grass. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna catch this Mudkip. I can catch this Mudkip. I'm gonna have two water starters with me. That's powerful. That's extremely powerful. 
squatty gun. Oh, I'm gonna have a powerful team. I guarantee you, with my luck, the first gym leader is gonna be grass. Guaranteed. And I'm gonna be like, yay, water starters. Alright, whatever, whatever. Water gun's doing four in the rain. That I means if it wasn't raining, it'd be doing about three. At most. I don't think I can catch it from here, even though a crit will do a lot, so... Uh, I gotta be careful, because if I kill it, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch another Pokemon here or not. So, uh... Well, actually, what am I talking about? This is an, um, a lock. I will not be able to catch anything. So, let's go with the Pokeball. Wow! I really wish I had more Pokeballs now. And... I'm not even paying attention to Happy Feet's health, holy shit! Oh my god. Alright, Max Ether. Jesus Christ. I need to get out of this forest, this swamp, like now. Or wherever the fuck I am. Oh, come on, I know he used Blood Slap, like 17. Why is that doing so much? No, no. Go back to using Water Gun. Or Growl, it's fine. If you miss... I can't go into other either of my other two Pokemon because they're way too weak. If that Pound is doing that much uh, to my... Uh, his Tackle is doing that much to Happy Feet, it's going to destroy the other two. Alright, I have to throw another Pokeball at it now. It's critical hit, of course. I'd rather that be a critical hit than um, a critical hit when he's using tackle. Yes. All right. Well, uh, the Ron nickname for uh, Sentry is a tribute to a different uh, Poke Tuber. I'm going to name him also as a tribute to another Poke Tuber. This one to a more well-known. Uh, Poketuber goes by the name of Shofu, and this is Team Player. Ooh, that was scary. Heal my Pokemon again, please. Philip, excellent work. The portal to your universe is working again, but you have to hurry before it shuts again. I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Get to the portal. Is this the portal? Oh. All right. Well, I'm here. Well, this looks like a good place to end the episode, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you like it. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one. No hot sauce. Two episodes in a row. I'm on. F I'm on fire. Then again, I'm also gonna be on fire when I take some hot sauce. So uh, yeah.